Okay, guys, in previous video, I have shown you how to create a simple image with a basic background, and this is the same image which was created in the last video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to draw lines and how to draw the rectangles and the arcs, ellipse, etc. And this is the code which I have created in the last part. And if you guys haven't watched it, I suggest to go and watch it. Um, if not, also no problem, just stick to the video, you can watch it later. And and before going to uh, draw lines, I'm, I'm going to store some basic colors before. And to store some basic colors, uh, I said already, uh, this function called image color allocate, just the color. And uh, you guys know how to use this uh, method. As I said, uh, RGB values, if you want to store a uh, blue color, RGB, so you have to null red and green. So I'm going to null that red and green. And I'm going to specify blue color 25. And I'm going to store this entire color in a variable, for example, blue. And you can use this blue color and wherever you want in next quotes. Okay, now we have created a basic color, and I'm going to show you how to draw a line. And it's, again, this is a simple function called image line I M A G L I N E. And this function will draw a line for you and for that you have to specify some parameters and that's simple the first parameter is as usual by image and the second parameter sorry set and the second parameter is going to be the uh, pixels of the image and you guys already know how to manipulate pixels and start from 0 to 0 comma 0 x axis and y axis and since the width and height of our image is 200 comma 200 and this is going to be 200 comma 0 and this is going to be 0 comma 200 and this corner going to be 200 comma 0 and if you want to specify the image it's going to be 100 comma 0 and that's the way how pixels are access uh, uh, coordinates coordinates will work um, and i don't know much about this and this is the way how coordinates working and um, you have to specify uh, first for example if you want to draw diagonally you want to specify the first starting point and ending point and starting point x axis y axis coordinates and end point x axis y axis coordinates and try to remember like this start x start x gonna be 0 comma start y and end x in our case it's uh, 200 pixels right so it's going to be 200 x 200 so the spread is simple right start x dot y and x and y and that's the way how things will work and i think that's it just try to execute for it should work Oops. image line exactly six oh sorry i forgot one last parameter and, and that is the color color and as i said i'm going to use blue color and it's blue now try to run that it should work oops that's fine so this is the way how we draw lines in image using Judy library and the next thing is uh, drawing rectangles and this another function image a rectangle I think it's a rectangle oops that's image rectangle and as usual the same thing uh, first thing is image and here pixels we say um, place some tricky things here we need to do some uh, do some tricks to examine the coordinates uh, as i said before uh, maintaining the correct uh, coordinates will be somewhat uh, difficult try and uh, for that i'm going to run some random i mean random pixels 0 comma 50 and since it's a rectangle you can use it doesn't mean that you have to specify only rectangle you can use a square also and for the square it's known we have to specify same width and equal width and equal height you guys know how to use that and 50 comma 50 so it's a uh, simple right uh, it's start x and it's end x so 50 pixel and here also 50 pixel so it's gonna be 50 pixel height and 50 pixel width so it's an exact square so let me check on um, one more thing last thing is color real blue color and this is how 
Oops, we want the pretty blue rectangle there. Check that blue rectangle. And I want to show one last thing. Um, there's one more thing called image of filled rectangle. And that will fill with color which you specify image filled rectangle. And that's it. And the same thing goes here, same input, same parameters. But the thing is, it will fill this empty box. And here, in, in image rectangle function, you will get, I mean, empty color, not empty. You will see background color in the middle. But in image filled rectangle, you will get some filled color. I will show you within a second. And the same thing, but I'm going to just expand the pixels just to identify them. Um, 50, 50, plus 50, 700, and final thing, uh, thing is blue. Okay. Um, that's the way how image field rectangle will works. And the only thing is you need to examine the pixels correctly. And if you can examine that, um, that's a pretty, pretty simple thing. And still, you can do lot of lot of things with. Uh, there are more library functions uh, for example if you want to draw a ellipse on this image ellipse and image filler ellipse image arc there are a lot of lot of functions and if you want you can uh, reach it somewhere in blocks and in the google so this uh, basic image creation functions and the next part i'm going to show you how to add text uh, i'm not going to show you how to add circles how to add arc because uh, these are the same boring stuff as, as you did in rectangles and lines so you guys want you can go and research it and in the next part i'm going to show how to add text and how to rotate and how to clap and still some good stuff so thanks for viewing don't forget to subscribe to civil language video